According to Wikipedia, trilobite means three-lobed, and that is of course because much like a three-act play, the trilobite has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Many of you will be aware that this channel owes so much to the humble trilobite. I use them in both the logo and name of this channel, and that's about it because this channel is mostly dedicated to Half-Life 2. However, sometimes I like to give back to the trilobite community. So today I'm going to be playing every single trilobite themed game on itch.io. I set this up as a fun, uh, fun in very heavy quotes there, challenge for myself because I just thought it would be funny and interesting to play a bunch of weird trilobite games. However, when I searched up trilobite in the itch.io search box, it only came up with six games. So that's a little disappointing, but at least it makes my life a lot easier. So without further ado, let's get into some trilobite based gameplay. Up first, folks, we have a game called Whack a Trilobite. Now, I'm not going to condone any trilobite directed violence in this video, but I'm going to play this game for the sake of the challenge. So this game is very simple. It's just a whack-a-mole style game where you look for shaking jars and uh, click them to reveal a little trilobite. The trilobite aspect of this game is very, very minimal. Um, it looks like it was made for some kind of game jam where you were given random keywords and had to incorporate them into the game. For what it is, it's an okay game. Uh, it's very, very simple. Personally wouldn't seek it out because whack-a-mole games aren't my kind of thing, though I guess first person shooters are basically nature's whack-a-mole game, aren't they? So maybe this is the perfect game for me. So we have this game called My Little Trilobite, and it's basically Nintendogs but trilobite themed. That does sound like a pretty interesting concept for a game. I would love to take care of my own little pet trilobite. I did have some trouble with this game, uh, getting it working. I'm not sure if it was just having trouble with my recording software, but sometimes when I would open the game, I wouldn't be able to click on anything at all. So it did work the first time I booted it up, but each subsequent time it worked less and less. I'm not sure if that's a problem with my recording software or with the game itself. Basically what you do in this game is you click around uh, to interact with your pet trilobite. You can feed the trilobite, you can clean up after them, and you can play with this bouncy ball. Not sure if there are other features to this game that I couldn't find, but it's a pretty basic game. I wish it worked a little better with my setup, but you know, still okay. I wasn't sure what to think when I was downloading this game, but it is what it says on the tin. It's a walking simulator where you walk around and look at trilobites. I'm not sure if you are supposed to be a trilobite walking around, because your shadow is kind of trilobite shaped, but I think that also might be just the default Unity cylinder casting a shadow, so I'm not 100% sure if it's intentional or not. Um, other than the weird shadow, I do like the atmosphere of this game. It's definitely the only game on here that has sort of realistic 3D graphics. So it did stand out against all the other games, but I just like the atmosphere. It's raining and it's all kind of like primordial looking. I walked around for, you know, a few minutes just to look at everything. Found two weird giant trilobites uh, floating in the sky. I think some people might find it a little uh, pretentious, but you know, for a few minutes it's uh, interesting and uh, yeah, just lots of mood and atmosphere. Up next we have Hungry Hungry Trilobites, which is the prehistoric version of Hungry Hungry Hippos. This game is a four player multiplayer game. Um, I can only get two of the characters working, but I think that's because some of the other players need to be using a controller but it is essentially hungry hungry hippos except you're able to move around which is something you're not able to do in the hungry hungry hippos board game i like that when the trilobites move around they leave a little trail of trilobite footsteps but the controls are a little awkward up next we have trilobite depth uh this is an interesting game it's a version of the game of life 
Anyways, this is a 3D game of life. It's kind of hard to parse all the information on screen because of the 3D nature of it. So you're placing trilobites and eggs down in a 3D grid and you sort of are deciding where you want to place stuff to try to get as many points as possible. One thing about the game of life, which is, makes it interesting that they chose to include it as a game mechanic, is that I believe it's very difficult to tell. In fact, I think it's supposed to be impossible to tell uh, by placing tiles down on the game of life board, whether or not the tiles are going to go increase in number or decrease in number or stay steady in number. I believe that's an unsolvable problem. So lastly, we have Cambrian Creature Creator, which is an educational game. Uh, I found that kind of interesting. None of the other games really focused on the actual history of Trilobites. So this one uh, lets you play paleontologist and learn a little bit about the anatomy of Cambrian creatures. A lot of Cambrian creatures have complex anatomy that is fossilized. And I'm sure a lot of people wonder how paleontologists look at a fossil and figure out what each part of the fossil means as an anatomical body part, because it's not always obvious. So playing this game sort of lets you learn a little bit about that process and basically see which parts of the fossil apply to which body part of a prehistoric animal. I wish there were actually more creatures included in this game because it's kind of an interesting concept and I think it could be quite educational and helpful for people wanting to learn more about prehistoric life. Well, anyways, today I played a bunch of trilobite games, so I feel like I've reached my trilobite game quota for at least the next 20 years. Uh, so come back, subscribe for 20 years, and maybe I'll make another one of these videos. You know, a lot of these were very small and simple games, but, you know, small and simple games deserve to be seen, too. 